Point. I'm Emily Rose. And I'm Lily Spolar, and this is Shell Point Today for Thursday, October 31st. We're building towards a better future on today's show by meeting up with Adam Hines to check out the progress being made at the Trivi Arts Center. I want Dave to just give us an update of where the project is as a total, and then we'll take you through the building. Ray Boyce is breaking down another gem from the Shakespeare treasure chest. The subject matter uh, and the developments in the play are so relevant to what's happening today in our own society. We're in the holiday spirit by learning more about the Employee Christmas Fund. We are representing you in this very important uh, task of trying to benefit our, our employees. Then Jeff Corey and Paul Fitzpatrick get teeing off with the return of the Shell Point Open. You've made lots of improvements here at the golf course. Tell, us, tell our residents what you've been doing lately. But first, we're venturing out to Baker Street for our look back on this day in history. It was on this day in 1892 when Arthur Conan Doyle published his first book, The Adventures of Sherlock Holmes. The saga of Britain's famed detective had become wildly popular over the past five years after being published in several magazines. Holmes, along with his devoted sidekick, John Watson, became heroes due to their extraordinary deductive power, meaning they were able to solve mysteries using the simplest of clues. Doyle would go on to publish three more collections of his short stories with Holmes and Watson on the constant heels of their arch rival, Moriarty. Over a century later, the characters are still a major part of pop culture appearing in television series, movies, and still on the printed page. Tomorrow, start your holiday season off on the right foot by attending this year's Shell Point Artisan Artisans Holiday Bazaar. The talented residents of Shell Point have been working all year to create items for this event. And on November 1st and 2nd, you can check out all the goods available from textile and paper to wood and ceramics. There will even be plenty of specialty Christmas decorations and holiday cards. After all the shopping, make your way to Love Boat Ice Cream, which will be sold right outside. Please remember that cash and checks will only be accepted. Check out all the amazing talent on display at Shell Point and get some of your Christmas shopping done early by attending this year's Artisan Artisans Holiday Bazaar. Many of those artists at the bazaar will soon be creating their works of art inside the new Tribby Art Center. We caught up with Adam Hines to see how the construction has progressed so far.